Okay, welcome back. Welcome to Harold's Sweatshop. It's only, you know, 90 degrees in the garage where I sweat my butt off for your entertainment. Wait, that didn't, no. Anyway, all right, picked up a new project. See, it's an upside down trailer. 150 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna try to make some money on this one. I hope I make some money on this and don't lose anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, story of my life. So the problem, the biggest problem with this is one, it's ugly, and two, this axle, as you can tell, is not held on there. It used to be a three link. There used to be a link that went from here to here and on the other side. And then that bar there in the middle keeps it from going left and right. So these kept it going forward and back. That one kept it going left to right. Um, I could rebuild that, but when I bought it, it also came with leaf springs and some of the stuff to make it work. I'm going to move this leaf spring. He kind of went to try to bolt it on. It's the advantage of having a welder. You can actually do stuff. Um, this is going to get moved out here. Can't put it on here because the tire is too close and the construction of the axle has to be in here. So it'll be sitting right in here. I'm going to build this out to hold the leaf spring. So went over to the, you know, farm store, uh, DMV supply and got all the parts. So currently I paid $150 for the trailer and I have $150 worth of parts. So I'm, eh, parts are expensive. So I'm into this $300 right now. Um, I'm hoping to make, hoping to sell it for five to 800. It's completely crazy that this stuff sells for that much. But that's the market. It's terrible. I hate it. This is like a $100 trailer, you know, but whatever. It's my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to try to get $800 out of it. We'll see what happens. If I get $500 out of it, I still need $200. Bucks. So, hey, I got new lights for the back. I got, um, I'm going to mess with all that stuff up there. Anyway, here we go. Let's get started on this. Uh, I think first thing to start on is axle. Yes. Getting the axle mounted is going to be our first item of business. So in order to do that, we're going to start with stripping this axle down to get the spring perches ready to weld on. Let's get to that. Okay, update time. So I did a little bit of measuring because I wanted to make sure my axle's in the right place. And come to find out, I got to move my fenders <laughs> because you're supposed to have some tongue weight. And depending on who you ask, 10 to 15%, 25% if you like my trailer outside. Anyway, um, I love that trailer. It pulls awesome. Uh, but this axle is dead center. I got to move it back. So I'm going to move it back. So originally my front perch is right here. Like this. Here's where the axle was originally. My front perch I was going to put here, center of the axle here, happy day. Well, my front perch actually gets moved back. I measured it out on the other side. You can see my lines right there and right there. So the axle actually gets moved back to right in here somewhere. That's the front perch of the axle. Center of the axle will be about 12 inches behind that. And then the rear perch goes back here. So a little bit more work, but if you want a trailer that pulls properly that's what you do um the way i do it some people say you take into account the tongue weight and all this i don't from the from the front of the trailer forward i don't count that at all unless you have something significant they put a, a motorcycle up there eh, can't now anyway and but unless you have something significant on the front which i don't um i just count the distributed load on the bed because i'll tell you what when you're towing a trailer Oh, my garage doors close automatically at 9 o'clock and it's telling me that they're going to close. They're closed. Anyway, um, yeah, because when you're towing a trailer and you're off balance, you have too much tail weight on that trailer, it starts to wag at about between 40 and 45 mile an hour. Every time that speed, whoo, it gets fun. Don't advise it. Don't try it. Anyway, so... We're going to get this in the right place so this trailer is safe to pull. So anyway, I'm going to get these, probably get these tacked in there or something that's kind of getting late. Like I said, it's 9 o'clock. Um, 
Eh, we'll see how far we get. Okay, time for a bit of an update. It's the next day. Um, anyway, so I got my plates tacked in here. This one here, of course the tacks broke on me because I had to pull it, but whatever. That one there, and then I did the same on the other side. And then I rough set my springs here. Yeah, I know, I gotta get new bolts. Oops, got the wrong ones. Anyway, figure that out. I got an annoying beeping noise, in. and I got an annoying beeping garage door opener. I hate those things. Anyway, uh, so what I did to square up the axle, I'll show you real quick. So it's important that the axle is square. Um, in case I haven't told you yet, uh, a previous person who set the axle set it dead center in the trailer, not the right place. So I moved it back to where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do to set the axle square. I've done this on every trailer I've built and it's so beautifully. I go from the center of the axle, which I'm just gonna go off the bolt head there, up to the center of my hitch. I'm at 132 and 7 eighths on that one. And on this one, I am at 132 and 7 -8. So, yes, I already set those. Um, anyway, they're the, exactly the same distance in from the outside edge to that, that piece there, both sides. And from this center of this pin to there, center of that pin to there is exactly the same. So I'm ready to tack those uh, perches on. Okay, it's time to set our perches on the axle. Um, made a decision earlier that I'm doing spring under axle. Not, I don't want spring over axle, I want spring, yeah, spring over axle. So, spring is going to set like that, okay, in relation to the axle. So, I want, um, Axles typically have a bow in them. They're not normally straight. And so these brackets here, I left them on there for this reason right here. They are parallel on either side. And this side of the axle was the upside, which was the, anyway, the whole trailer's upside down. It's kind of screwing up my head. Anyway, it faced, faced the trailer. This side did. And so I got to put the our axle perch is on. Alarm's going off. Okay, I gotta put my axle perch, my spring perch is on, on this side. So, in order to do that, I gotta figure out where I want to put them. Well, the spring sits right here, so the perch is gonna sit right here as well. I just took a measurement from the face of the trailer here to the face of the hub, did the same on both sides, got it all centered up. Grab my spot smooth. Now I'm gonna set my perch. So I got my perch lined up here. Now, because the trailer's not level, I could level the trailer if I really wanted to. I'm just gonna use my level finder here. I got 0 0.9 degrees there. I'm gonna set it on here. I'm gonna set this to close to 0 0.9 if I can get it. It's a little wiggly. It's there, I got it set to 0 0.9. I know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the welder, tack it there, adjust it, tack it again. I'll probably have to adjust it two or three times to get it exactly where I want it. Yeah, it's 1.0, close enough for now. That aside so I don't burn it. And take my clamp. Because when I tack it over here, it actually pulled this side up. I'm going to pull it back down to the axle. Stick a tack over there. There we go. 
Now, let's see where we ended up. Ha ha! 0.9. I am good. And I got this one tacked on this side now. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up, so everything's tacked, I didn't, okay, so everything's tacked. I didn't weld anything solid yet. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta set my springs up with all the bracketry on them, set the axle in there, U-bolts, everything, not tight, but put it in there, make sure all of it looks right, make sure nothing's gonna be interfering, anything like that and then I'm just gonna weld it all out. Okay, snuck out to the garage for a few more minutes. I wanted to get the axle mocked up. And there it sits, just like that. So I've got the spring perches here. They're tacked onto the axle. They're not welded solid yet. I'll get those on. But, and these plates are tacked in. That bracket's tacked in, tacked in. Everything's tacked in, nothing's held solid yet. But I like the way that looks. So this is ready to weld in, ready to burn everything in. I am going to, before I do that though, I'm going to take some measurements, that thing is annoying. I am going to take some measurements from the front, from the tongue, to the center and center, just to make sure that axle is straight in there. Okay, so we've made some more progress on this, it's been like a week since I filmed last, but I'll show you what I got done. So I got the axle fully welded in, fully mounted, um, kind of like the way that, that turned out. It actually turned out really good with these little pieces in here. And my welds actually turned out pretty good. So these are all bolted on, springs are on. It is fully mounted. Um, I got the wood crack pulled off. I mounted some tail lights. These are just cheap. The brackets and everything were already there. And so I just bought the ones that just bolted right in. I went ahead and soldered the connections there. And I soldered the connections there. So we got good connections on our tail lights back here. And right now I'm in the process of, of flipping the trailer over. This is gonna get interesting. There we go, we got it flipped. That was sketchy as it was the first time I did it. So anyway, we got it flipped over. I think I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing, make it look nice, and then this thing's going up on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, trailer's done. I uh, I was in a rush, so I didn't wanna, cause I'm trying to beat the, beat the sun going down. It's Friday, Friday evening, so I wanted to get this thing posted on Facebook Marketplace for all those for all those people scrolling Facebook Marketplace at night. You know who you are. Um, anyway, there it is. All done, put a, put a new coat of paint on it. Tell you what, tell you what, those turbo cans, wow. That's all I can say about it, wow. That thing puts out a lot of paint in a hurry. But, see that, I painted the whole thing and fresh washed it painted it looking pretty good and uh, i put a new fresh coat of paint on my rocks so yeah good looking little trailer so anyway it's a fun little project a lot of work but uh yeah something to work on maybe we'll see if i make any money on it right so anyway thanks for watching